and we're back with some of the biggest news yet in the RHEL news where Red Hat decided to close its sources and repo. This time the news is coming from SUSE, the creators and maintainers of another enterprise Linux alternative. This time with some of the most interesting and probably impactful decisions made in the recent weeks. Today we'll be reading through this post and you'll want to definitely stick around for this one because it's huge news for the Linux community, especially the enterprise Linux users. I'll be breaking things down among two posts here and we'll be discussing the decision made by SUSE. The article here reads, SUSE preserves choice in enterprise Linux by forking RHEL with a 10 plus million dollar investment. This is wild news. Who knew that all of this commotion from Red Hat would bring us this? Basically, we have an investment that reinforces SUSE's commitment to innovate and support SUSE Linux enterprise distributions and related open source projects. SUSE plans to contribute its code to an open source foundation. With that in mind, the post begins out of Luxembourg. Today, SUSE, the company behind Rancher, New Vector, and SUSE Enterprise Linux, SLE, and a global leader in enterprise open source solution, announced its forking publicly available Red Hat Enterprise Linux RHEL and will develop and maintain RHEL a RHEL compatible distribution available to all without restrictions. Over the next few years, SUSE plans to invest more than $10 million into this project with practically the largest blow to Red Hat that we've experienced so far. This is wild news in this developing situation going on between Red Hat and the open source community with its choice to close source one of its repos, which lots of Linux distributions get their binaries from, including Alma Linux, Rocky Linux, and Oracle Linux. Basically in this first stunning paragraph, SUSE, which is of course a global leader in the enterprise and open source solutions have announced that they will invest and publicly fork RHEL and develop what seems to be a new RHEL compatible distribution without restriction. Dirk Peter Van Leeuwen, CEO of SUSE said, for decades, collaboration and shared success have been the building blocks of the open source community. We have a responsibility to defend these values. This investment will preserve the flow of innovation for years to come, ensures that customers and communities alike are not subjected to vendor lock-in and have genuine choice tomorrow as well as today. What seems to be wise words said by the CEO of SUSE, and they seem to be putting their money where their mouth is and actually making a commitment, which we haven't quite seen anybody put forward money to support the situation yet. SUSE remains fully committed to investing in its highly regarded Linux solutions such as SLE, which it will not drop, and OpenSUSE that countless satisfied enterprise customers and community rely on. At the same time, it acknowledges that enterprises and the open source community deserve a choice and freedom from vendor lock-in. SUSE has a long history in empowering and supporting its users with mixed Linux environments. So SUSE here is emphasizing its commitment to collaboration and community-driven development, trying to truly free up free and open source software. SUSE is committed to working with the open source community to develop a long-term enduring compatible alternative to RHEL and CentOS users. Since CentOS got recently dropped about what seems to be almost a year and a half ago, SUSE plans to contribute this project to an open source foundation, which will provide ongoing free access to an alternative source code. Again, SUSE is emphasizing their commitment to collaboration here with the open source community. This collaborative effort demonstrates SUSE's deep-rooted commitment to fostering innovation and nurturing community-driven development. And it reinforces the fundamental values of the open source software. We invite the community to actively engage collaboration in the community to actively engage and collaborate in shaping the future of essential software said Dr. Thomas D. Giacomo, Chief Technology and Product Officer at SUSE. We firmly believe that this new RHEL-compatible Linux distribution together with SUSE's portfolio will help the community and customers navigate unprecedented advancements in the enterprise Linux cloud computing containerization, and edge AI machine learning and other emerging technologies. Seems like the team at OpenSUSE is forward thinking, knowing that enterprise Linux plays a huge role, not only in open source, but in many other production environments, and plans on being forward by supporting not only their own flavor of enterprise Linux, but making a new RHEL compatible one. Fantastic news. Let me know what you think about this. Is this the right way a company should be going about things? putting money where their mouth is and actually giving us a solution 
to the problems being created by other enterprises in this very surprising new development through SUSE. It's hard not to be excited about this new news. Now there is more information about this and I'll summarize the second post that came with this in a moment, but this is the more exciting post where SUSE is committing to putting money down to help the community in a surprising twist against what Red Hat has decided to do. This is quite the blow or what seems to be a blow to Red Hat. Let's keep reading. The enterprise Linux community requires standardization, stability, and consistency. Very important to keeping open source driven forward, at least in my opinion. This was said by Gregory Kurtzer, CEO and CIQ and founder of Rocky Linux. CIQ is bringing stability to our partners, customers, and community by building a broad coalition of like-minded companies, organizations, and individuals. SUSE has embodied the core principles and spirit of open source. CIQ is thrilled to collaborate with SUSE in advancing an open enterprise Linux standard. So it looks like companies are banding together, joining the open source community to defend it from the Red Hat decision that was earlier made this month. And it seems like Rocky Linux is joining in to help for this standardization of an enterprise Linux open source Linux platform. So to read more about this and how it strengthens Liberty Linux, there's another post which we'll look at briefly. I'm just going to summarize this one. At SUSE, we make choice happen. And basically this post boils down down to SUSE strongly supports the open source principles and collaboration. They emphasize that, that there's an importance of software being freely accessible, used, changed, and shared by the open source community. The company also believes that there should be competition amongst open source companies and believes that things should be left not proprietary. SUSE seems to aim to provide choice and compatibility to its customers and hopefully building and supporting a fork of the RHEL code base to the community. Of course, SUSE is also highlighting their engineering expertise when it comes to enterprise software and environments and is dedicated to empowering its users. The company will remain fully committed to its existing Linux solutions, but will encourage others to join in making the Ralph work with them as well as committing money to it. A big post to match the other one that we are reading through. Let's keep going through here real quick to finish things up and then talk about the overall sentiments of the open source community as they stand or don't with the following posts about SUSE. SUSE is a global leader in innovation, reliable and secure enterprise grade open source solutions relied upon by more than 60% of the Fortune 500 to power their mission critical workloads. We specialize in the business critical Linux, enterprise container management and edge solutions and collaborate with partners and communities to empower our customers to innovate everywhere from the data center to the cloud to the edge and beyond. SUSE puts the open back in open source by giving its customers the ability to tackle innovation challenges today and the freedom to involve their strategy and solutions tomorrow. The company employs more than 2,000 people globally. SUSE is listed on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. Now some forward-looking statements, but know that I'll post the links to both blogs as well as videos previously discussing this Red Hat decision. That way you can check out both these posts and read through them yourselves, especially the one I summarized. Of course, that's all my opinion. Let's talk about forward-looking statements. Any statements in this press release about the future expectations, plans, and prospects for the company, including the statements containing the words aims, targets, will, be, leaves, anticipates, plans, expects, and similar expressions may constitute forward-looking statements and should be read with caution. Actual results may differ materially from these, those indicated by such forward-looking statements as, as a result of various important factors, including competitive landscape, development of customer deals, reliance upon customer relationships, management of growth and acquisitions, and possibly of the undetected software issues. The risks of impacts of COVID-19 pandemic and economic downturns, pricing pressures, and the viability of the internet. In addition, any forward-looking statements included herein represent the views of the date of the press release and the views could change. The company does not have any obligation to update its forward-looking statements. These forward-looking statements are subject to change and should be relied upon representing the company's views as of any date other than the date of this press release. Very good, some Lego mumbo jumbo it seems like just to make sure that they cover themselves from unexpected things that may come up in the future that may hinder the ability for them to actually invest in this project and help fork over that RHEL clone.
The overall sentiments here in this article seem to convey, in my opinion, a strong commitment to open source values, choice, collaboration. It seems that Sousa advocates unrestricted access and seemingly doesn't like the restrictions that Red Hat is giving to people with their latest decisions to close source their repos. The sediment seems to be overall positive, at least in my opinion, and it seems to showcase Sousa's expertise and commitment to the open source community. Now, as far as the community goes, I do want to talk about the overall sentiment there. Sentiment here seems, again, mixed, as it has been through this entire saga. Is this an opportunistic look at things? Will they go back on these ideals once they realize how much this investment will really take them? Only time will tell. Definitely a wide range of opinions when it comes to Sousa's decision to fork the RHEL and maintain RHEL compatible distribution. Already have their own version of an enterprise Linux, so why are they necessarily making RHEL? Some users definitely express concern that it may negatively impact Sousa's existing offerings and help RHEL out even further, while others see this as a smart move that could provide more choices and competition in the current enterprise Linux market, especially after the decision made by Red Hat. Of course, there's speculation in the motives behind the decisions here at SUSE. Let's all hope that this ends up being a nice resolve and help to the Linux community. I'm excited about this one. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from people, especially after getting to see this post. Who would have known that the resolve here would have been with Sousa stepping up and potentially knocking things out of the park? I'm quite excited to see the future of Linux if we're going to stay in power together as a community. Let's get excited and spread the word. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.